thanks for joining me again for another pouring art session in my little studio today i'm going to do some coasters and some baby pours with um, tiny shot glasses they're just plastic they're reusable so they should be good fun i haven't tried them all or tried them at all yet so we'll see what happens and i'm also going to try adding a drop of isopropyl alcohol to my white um, i saw a fellow aussie artist called Swanky Arts. She's on YouTube. You can find her do this in her videos. So I thought I'll give it a shot. Why not? And she also, um, instead of using the torch to blow the bubbles on her white base, she does a spray of isopropyl alcohol as well uh, instead. So I thought, oh, why not? Let's just try it out. See if it does, if I see any difference. It's always great to learn from other artists. So let's just try one, for, you know, just here first. So just one little spray. Does looks it looks pretty smooth so far. And let's just do a, a little pour in this tiny cup. It's so funny seeing it. It's so small. <laughs> so cute. So like I said, she also does We'll add a drop of the alcohol to her white and try that out might be too much um, because it's a big cup a big cup <laughs> a tiny cup but um, we'll see let's just do a bit of this blue a bit of yellow of pink a bit more then let's start again with the white and another drop of isopropyl alcohol here uh, let's put a little bit of copper and then let's do a bit more blue yellow pink and a bit more white no alcohol this time and let's just flip that tiny thing so cute so i'm already seeing little cells happening here just gonna let that do its thing In the meantime, I'm going to do my second base. Of course, I could prepare them all in one go, but you know, that'd be way too organized. I just want to do them one by one and see what happens so I can change things or try new things if needed. Or we can try different techniques maybe, we'll see. Another little spritz of that. So far, so good. I don't know if it it definitely has the same effect as removing um, the bubbles with the blowtorch, of course. But I wonder if having the alcohol is going to also have an effect on the pour because obviously it's going to react with the paint. So we'll see. Okay, let's pour or well, let's get that one going. Definitely a lot of paint here. Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. 
think I might put a tiny little wedge under the foot of my support here or maybe just another coaster just to make sure that I'm not losing too much paint this way this is very pretty let's torch it And then let's just um, let it do its thing. We'll leave it alone for a second. Let's do our second little pour. I'm going to use the same colors, but I'm going to reverse the order. So some pink first. White. So larger quantities than before. We'll keep going with the drop of alcohol. Just to see. Uh, and then copper. Yellow. Some blue and a bit more white. And again, a drop of alcohol in the white. You can see the alcohol is spreading into the white here. Might be a good idea just to sort of let it sit for a moment. We do that, just blow on this a little bit. Got a ton of paint on there, <laughs> but it's just so beautiful and detailed. Do another flip cup on this one. Oop, it's sliding. Come back, little baby cup, come back. <laughs> Alright, let's do this one as well. I just prepare my base. keep going with the spray actually this time let's just blow torch and see if there's more reaction or less reaction or or no difference whatsoever so I'm gonna do another pour again let's do try to reverse the <laughs> the colors again start with copper this time Blue, white, drop of alcohol, pink, yellow. And white again. Let 
Okay, that's it while we see what's going on with this one. More of the blue coming out here. Beautiful. Let's torch it. And let it spread out. And then bottoms up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's do another flip cup. We can tilt this one a little bit. So tidy. Could definitely um, tip more paint off, but that won't do. Because it's so pretty, that's why. Okay. Let's see what's happening in this one. Cup number three. Torch. Let it spread out for a second. This would be the equivalent of a mini Dutch pour, I suppose. Except we can't, if I use my blow dryer, the whole thing, all the paint's gonna come off the coaster, I think. So I'm gonna be a bit too violent for such a small scale. Definitely very pretty as well. Okay guys, this is it. I've done my three little coasters, at least for now. I think I'll do a few more, of course. You'll see me doing more videos. Um, let's have a last look before we finish this off. I might just blow a little bit here because I've got some white cells on the edge. Did not want that. And then that looks quite good. I'll fix the edges off camera. Um, here, maybe move the yellow a little bit around, maybe more the other way actually, might mm, the copper is hiding underneath, definitely would like to see some of that copper. Definitely have also a lot of paint on there, so uh, either I leave it this way or I keep blowing. I'll keep blowing, shall I? Quite 
course it's, uh, it's changing it completely but it is quite pretty what's underneath I want the cells to stretch out a bit more let's be brave Okay, still cool. And then the last one. Hmm, what to do with this one? Not too much, I think. I'll blow this area a little bit. a bit more on that one and this one and then I'll uh, give you a close-up uh, mini coasters are here well mini coasters coasters are full size but the um, cups were very mini that's for sure so this is number one This is number two. A lot of detail. And this is number three. And all three of them. Beautiful. Let's do some more in another video.